Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our bride. And please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome. We've been invited here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give work, worth and recognition to the beauty of love, and to add our best wishes to the words that will unite Mark and Michael in marriage. In the time they have known each other, their love for and their understanding of each other has grown and matured. Today is the day that they have chosen to become husband and wife. And I would like to begin with a blessing. We call upon all that we hold sacred to bless our gathering here today. We call upon the family and the friends and all those who love and cherish and sustain this couple and ask that together we bless this marriage. We call upon the power and the presence on that which asks us to become greater than ourselves. May the divine spirit of love grace this day and all of our days hereafter, amen. And who is it that brings this woman to be married today? Her mother, not you. The marriage ceremony marks the coming together of two souls, two individuals who are deeply in love. Embarking on the commitment of married life represents one of life's greatest challenges, and it yields some of life's greatest rewards. By entering into this marriage, the two of you are stating publicly the feelings 
and the thoughts and the commitments that you have held privately between you until now. You're proclaiming your love for, your trust in, and your hopes and dreams in the one that you cherish above all others. Love is one of the few constants in the universe, and marriage has been described as living in love with your best friend. It is reality, it is affinity, it is communication. Only love is capable of joining living beings by their deepest essence and fulfilling them. So your marriage is a symbol of your commitment to create a lifelong partnership that is based on love. And now your vows represent the commitment that you will make here today, and that is the commitment to share love and life together, no matter what circumstances may arise. Once you were whole alone, now you are whole with each other, and I will now ask you to state your intentions and promises to each other. Michael, I promise to give you the best of myself and to ask of you no more than you can give. I promise to respect you as your own person and to realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to share with you my time and my attention and to bring joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to keep myself open to you, to share with you my most inner, innermost fears, feelings, secrets, and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face challenges, triumphs, sorrows, and joys, always together, always by your side. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, with all I have to give and all I feel inside, in the only way I know how, completely and forever. I promise to give you the best of myself and to ask if you know more than I can give. I promise to respect you as your own person and to realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to share with you my time and my attention and to bring joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to keep myself open to you, to share with you my innermost fears, feelings, secrets, and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face challenges, triumphs, sorrows, and joys, always together, always by your side. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, with all I have to give and all I feel inside, in the only way I know how, completely and forever. The wedding ring is a circle. It is a symbol of perfection, of wholeness, and of harmony. It is worn on the third finger because of an ancient belief that there is a vein on that finger that connects directly to the heart. So today you give and receive these rings as a demonstration of your vows to make your life one and to work together at all times to create a love that is whole and unbroken. Now, you may please have the rings. Mark, as you place the ring on your wife's finger, please repeat after me. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. And Michael, as you place the ring on your husband's finger, please say, as this ring has no end. As this ring has no end, Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. As the two of you come into this marriage today, uniting you as husband and wife, and as on this day you affirm your faith and your love for one another, I would ask that you always remember to respect each other as the special and unique individuals that you are. Um, <clears throat> Remember to respect the thoughts and the ideas and the suggestions of one another. Be able to forgive, do not hold grudges. Live each day that you may share it together. 
from this day forward, you will be each other's home and comfort and refuge, and your marriage will be strengthened by the love between you. And now this is our prayer for you on your wedding day. It's the words of the Apache wedding blessing. May it always be so. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Now we will engage in a beautiful ceremony of spiritual symbolism. Mark and Michael, the two colors of sand symbolize your separate and individual lives until today. I ask that you now mix and blend them together. Just as the blended grains of sand would be difficult, if not impossible, to separate, you should consider your marriage an irrevocable act. Blending them together represents that your two lives are now joined into a new whole. The individual colors are still there, separate, but united, symbolizing your marital bond. And may it always be so. Love has no desire other than to fulfill itself. Inasmuch as the two of you have agreed to live together as married people, you have promised your love for each other by your vows, by the giving and receiving of the rings, and by the ceremony of the sand. And so by the power that is vested in me and by the power of your love, I now declare you to be husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the newly wedded couple, Mark and Michael Thompson.
Oh, so are you done with the